Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video. Sure, okay, so anyway, to the point. Um, I went to Ulta a couple days ago because I wanted to get the Tarte High Performance Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. Um, I got the shade medium. Um, so I wanted to give this a try, see if I liked it. I've heard good things, so I got that. Um, I also picked up, it was buy one get one half off on the NYX products. So I have the soft matte, I got the soft matte lip cream in Stockholm. Um, it's, I have it on my lips now and I paired it with the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. Um, they're pretty much the same color. One's just if you wanted a matte and one's a shine. So I have them together. I really, really like this. I really, really like the butter glosses. Um, I probably will go back and buy more. Um, and I really like the soft matte lip cream. I have one. I already own one, but I wasn't too fond of the shade. It was just too bright pink for me. Um, so I wanted to try it in a color that I actually would wear and then really test if I actually liked it or not. And I do. It's a matte, velvety feel product. So anyway, I got these. Buy one, get one half off. I was at Target one day. Um, I already did a review on this. I picked this up, which is the, um, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I am in the shade 855, which is Soft Honey. I have a review on this already. And I wanted to also try the L'Oreal True Match uh, Super Blendable Makeup. And I got the shade W6 Beige, Sun Beige. And then I did it like I do all the time. I tried to match ones that, you know, looked the same. And then when I brought it home, I realized that I probably should have gotten the W5. The W6 looks dark. And I guess in the Target store with the bright lights, it looked the closest to the Revlon Color Stay, but... Now that I really think about it, I haven't tried this yet, um, but I think I maybe got it too dark. I haven't tried it out yet, though. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try more drugstore foundations because I really don't... I've tried a couple, but I really feel like I haven't tried too many. So a lot, a lot, a lot of people talk about this being one of their holy grail whatevers. And to be honest, I can sit here and look at it. And if you look at it a certain way, you can definitely see that there's glitter in this foundation. So it kind of scares me into thinking that I'm probably not going to like it. Because I can definitely see glitter in this foundation. So, um, yeah, I'll be trying that out soon and letting you guys know. I was in Sephora. And I picked up the Stila Color Bomb Lipstick in 05 Olivia, which is their nude. Which these are the Stila new lipsticks that they have. This is what it looks like. I will say that I like this color. I am not too fond of the packaging on this. Like, it's really, really cute and it has a mirror on the end, which is really nice because then you can sit there and make sure that you put your lipstick on right and stuff when you don't have a mirror right in front of you. Um, but the thing I don't like about it is how big it is. It's just too big. Like, you can't get, like, especially, like, I have kind of, like, fuller lips. If you didn't really have big lips, it would be hard to put this on. Because, like, especially in, like, the little Cupid's bow area, like, it's just too big. There's too much surface area for me. But I do really like the color. I also wanted to try, because I had heard really good things about this, is the NARS Satin Lip Pencils. It's their new lip pencils. They have a matte one and they have a high gloss one. So this is, I guess, like, in between. So I had heard that these were really, really good. I got Biscayne Park, I think is how you say it. 9204. But this is also another nude color. Um, this is what it looks like. And I am also really impressed with this. It's very similar to the steel one, to be honest. I haven't gotten to the I have used this, tried this. Um, I don't know how it's gonna really be. Like I really wish it was a twisty because I don't know how it's really gonna be once I have to start sharpening it, but because I don't own any of these, so we'll see. I went to MAC, and I wanted to actually give MAC Foundation a try. 
I've always kind of wanted to know because a lot of people really, really like them. They just claim that they break them out. So I was always like, no, I'm never going to try it because it's going to break me out. I know it's going to break me out, blah, 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 blah. But then I was like, you know what? I think I just need to try and give it a try and see what happens. So I got the Studio Fix Fluid, S the SPF 15, and they color matched me to be NC25. I also bought a pump for it because I don't like having to pour it. So I bought the pump that goes with it. I did put this on my face for this video, so it is on now. I would say the color is very, very good. Color matched was nice. Um, but like I said, I have no idea, like, I am scared to wear it too often or for too long because I'm scared that it's going to break me out because so many people claim it breaks them out. Like, I will not wear this to work. I'm too scared to wear this to work. <laughs> so it would be like if I'm going out or something. But I must say, I like it. I just don't know if it's going to break me out yet or not. So... And then I picked up two powders by them. I got the MAC Blot Powder in Medium, which I don't know how they, why, how or why they color these because I don't see how it's any different. I mean, I guess it's just a teeny bit darker than the Fair or whatever, but um, I don't know. I don't really see how it makes that big of a difference. But that's the Medium one. Just looks like white powder to me, but okay. I put I put that on with the foundation. And then I got the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation, and I'm in the same shade, NC25. Um, and that is what that looks like. So yes, I have worn this as well. This is kind of like a setting powder. Um, since Makeup Forever has discontinued the Duo Matte, which is my all-time favorite pressed powder, um, I do still have one backup left of that, but eventually I'm going to have to try something else, so I figured I would try this. And then I also picked up my previous haul video. I had picked up the MAC Mineralized Concealer, but I was talking about how I wanted the Pro Long Wear Concealer, just in a lighter shade. So instead of going the NW route, I went the NC route, and I just picked up NC20. And, yeah. So I've been using that. I really, really like this found I mean foundation, this concealer. However, I hate the pump on it. It makes you pump out way too much. And then I try to, like, use my thumb to help control how much I pump out. And even half a pump is too much. So I wish... Like, I like the fact that it has a pump almost, but at the same time, I almost wish that it was just like this and has a brush because I always pump out too much and it's wasteful, you know? And the brush I got to put the concealer on because she used this on me in the store to color match me is the MAC 227 brush. It's mine's disgusting. I apologize. It is a large... I would imagine this is supposed to be a shader brush. However, look how big it is. It's like as big as my eye. Um, but I use it in the dabbing motion as of like this to pat concealer on my face. I really, really like that. Um, I've always been had a pet peeve about not using synthetics with liquids. This is not a synthetic, so I am kind of breaking my rule, but I really liked it when she put it all in the store, so that's that. And then I got two lipsticks from them, which is, which actually look at this one. If you look at this one, it looks like if you look at the MAC part, it's ready pink. So it looks like the cap is meant for a Viva Glam. Uh, but also at the same time, it's not. So I thought that was really interesting that it's kind of like a mess up. But I bought this at the real MAC store, so I don't you don't have to worry about it not being real MAC. I bought the said MAC, so. Um, this is the Japanese Maple, which looks like that. And then I picked up Blankety, which looks like that. Let me put the caps down. So those are what they look like. I will say that Blankety looks a lot like Viva Glam 5 on. The only difference is Viva Glam 5 is glittery. And this is an amplified. And this is a luster. So on they look very, very on. On they look very, very similar. In case you're wondering, the finish is just different. And then in Victoria's Secret, I picked up the limited edition... Tease Please Body Spray, which looks like this, and it smells like, I'm somebody who likes oriental smelling perfumes and sprays, I tend to like oriental floral sprays, so like flower bombs, like Euphoria, Viva Glam, not Viva Glam, 
Viva La Juicy, yeah, those types, the oriental scented fragrances. And this is an oriental scented fragrance in my opinion. So, it smells very, very good, I like it. If you're not going to be able to tell, but you're probably not really going to be able to tell because my hair is pulled back because it's dirty and I need to wash it. But I did get my hair colored. Um, it is a more purpley, violet red color. Um, so I bought, when I was getting my hair done, I bought uh, shampoo and conditioner that's for color treated hair by Wella. It's shampoo for fine and normal colored hair and it's called the Brilliance line. And this stuff smells good. So I haven't used that, I literally just got this because I just got my hair done not that long ago. I also picked up Dry Shampoo Strengthening by Tresemme Fresh Start. I did spray this in my hair before this video because my hair is greasy. I don't really know how well it worked. If you ask me, I didn't really notice that big of a difference, but I think I have to play with it more with my hair down and see if it actually works. But I have to say, so far, I'm not impressed. Um, and then I picked up another one of my TG Catwalk Curl Collection curl -esque curl, Ra curl Rock Amplifier. Whew, it's such a long title. Picked up another one of these because in my hair care video you'll see that I had used it all up and this is one of my all-time favorite curl uh, creams or gels or whatever you want to call them. I uh, hope you enjoyed that guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye!